in the presence of Jehovah, God Almighty, Prince of Peace, troubles vanish, hearts are mended, in the presence of the King. Praise the Lord. Welcome back, saints and seekers of the Lord Jesus Christ. Just sharing a quick little word with you from Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. And um, the Lord was giving a harsh word there because the people would not turn to him. They would not follow the law and the prophets. They would go after other gods. They would go their own way, and he had given them all this love, and they just could not be faithful to the Lord. So this is why we see many times in the Old Testament he would afflict the people to get their attention again. He brought that affliction out of love to bring them back to a good place with him where they would be safe, where they would be truly loved. And, uh, of course, for today, what does that mean for us today? Number one, never ignore God's truth. Don't ignore God's truth. And hold tight to the word given to us by the Lord. Don't ignore it and hold tight to it. Follow him despite the temptations and other messages surrounding us in the world today. Many voices, many things, the allure of the worldliness in the world. You know, if you look around, the people try to emulate fashion and Hollywood, and uh, there's so much immorality, and God wants us to be faithful to him. He wants us to learn his ways and, uh, you know, it broke God's heart when Israel would reject him and ignore him. And he illustrated that by having Hosea take the promiscuous woman. And he demonstrated to them, as much as you've been unfaithful to me, I still love you. And that's what Hosea did when he was commanded to take this woman as his wife. He loved her. Even with all of her unfaithfulness, he loved her. And, um, you know, it, it was just an illustration that God continues to love his unfaithful people. You know, we have people in all kinds of sin out there today. We were in all kinds of sin. But, you know, if the Lord didn't keep loving us through that, we would never come to him. We are drawn to his love and his mercy because we know we need it. When we are like the prodigal son that shook himself in the pig pen, what in the world have I done? There's just that moment where we do. We have like an awakening. And I pray that everyone is getting awakened today because that is our hope, to wake up out of our sin, to shake ourselves, and to run to the Lord, run to him for his mercy. And just like that prodigal son, when he came home to his father, he just wanted to be a servant to his father and work for him. But his father had a robe and a ring ready, and he had a celebration dinner planned for him. That's love. You know, the kind of love God has is unconditional. He's not, he says that he puts our sins behind him. He forgets about them. He puts them in the depths of the sea as far as the east is from the west. He's not sitting there thinking about our past sins, talking about our past sins, 
sharing our past sins with everybody. He's just put them away because he is just happy when we come to him in repentance and we turn to do his word to have relationship with him. He's just waiting and ready to love on us. And uh, we're the ones that have missed out when we chose to be in sin follow after idols, we missed out on the pure and good thing that is God's love for us. And uh, we need to run into the arms of the Lord. We need to get right with Him. And, uh, you know, there are consequences for our choices. When we make the choices we make, at the time we're making them, we just seem to think it just affects us, but that's just not so. Our bad choices affect others that we love, and there's much hurt and harm, you know. We need to pray today for the little children in the world that have been so wounded from the way we've all lived in this generation, and that we have not protected them and their little souls and their innocent hearts properly. You know, the Lord is very upset with those things. And we need to repent as parents where we failed our children. And uh, we need the parents of the world to wake up and to want to do it God's way to protect their children and raise them in God's truth and His holiness. This is what brings a happy family. This is what brings children around to being whole and not all fractured. Praise God. My people perish for lack of knowledge. Where do we get that knowledge? Open the word of God. Get into the word of God. Seek the face of the Lord. He is speaking to his people right now. Everyone is just hearing his voice that wants to sit before him and hear his voice. And he is showing us things to come. He's given us things to come in his word, but he's speaking a lot to his people right now about these times that we are living in. He said that he would not do anything without telling his servants, the prophets, first. He forewarns about things to come, and there have just been many warnings that have gone out about these times. And we can choose to be ignorant. We can choose to ignore those. But people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Our wisdom should be to turn to the Lord, hear what he's saying, and obey him. Get in alignment with the Lord. He loves us, but he will go by his word. What he says he will do, he will do. You need to give your heart to the Lord. Acts 2.38 tells you to repent, to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. I love you. Jesus loves you more. Be blessed.